Hey there friends, on today's quick tech tutorial video, we're inside Strava, and I'm gonna show you how to change your defaulted picture that shows up that's associated with your workout. Let's jump into it right now. Okay, so we're inside Strava, we're on my iPhone, but this is gonna look super similar if you're using an Android device. And basically we're looking at this guy, Forrest Forrest. He's a YouTuber, he does these crazy hikes, really fun guy to follow. As you can see, he takes a lot of pictures during his workout. And what we wanna do is we want to be able to adjust that. If I scroll over here to the left, you can see that that's where the map area now shows up. So you actually have some settings that you can adjust to default directly to the map or default directly to the first picture that you upload. Now this is super easy to adjust. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top right hand corner and we're gonna hit the settings option. Okay, inside settings, we can then check out some options, all sorts of really great stuff to adjust down here, including look at halfway down the page, see where it says default highlight image. Right now we have that on photo. So you can either do it with a map or on your photo. And the way that you change this is simply by tapping it. Once I tap that, you can see it switches over to map. Now the map is gonna automatically be the default picture on all of my Strava data, even if I upload pictures to those specific workouts. If you wanna switch that back, simply tap it again and it'll switch back to photo. Now, anytime that I've uploaded a photo that's associated with my workout, well, that will show up instead of the map and you'll have to scroll to the left in order to see that map. Hope that helps friends. Again, it's a really small, easy setting, but it does help if you're frustrated with having things show up, not in the way that you'd like them to. If this has helped, please hit that thumbs up button for us. Let us know we're making helpful videos for you. Stay tuned, we're actually making a ton more of these little tech tutorial videos to make your life just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching friends. We'll see you again on the next one.